So this is my absolute favorite way to apply my foundation and concealers. I have my regular foundation and then my uh, two concealers, one that I use that is like a brightener and highlighter. Um, so I apply that all with this wonderful sponge that I get a little bit damp. And I love this application because it's quick and easy and it will blend into the skin really well. You wanna make sure that your skin is prepped first. So uh, for example, if you use you know, the eye serum, um, just go ahead. Um, you actually wanna make sure that um, you don't turn this down, but you actually keep it um, facing up so that you can control how much product is coming out of this, okay? Um, another little tip when applying your eye serum that I'm gonna show you is using a little bit of water first because it actually activates the hyaluronic acid in this product, um, which binds the hydration to the skin, makes it much more effective. Um, so I do that first and it's so nice and cooling. Um, so I'm just gonna show you the difference with a little skin prep. I like to do it all along that bone there, okay? And this is awesome for puffiness. You'll get instant results with that. Um, it helps with darkness and the fine lines as well. Um, but when it comes to your skin, you know, I like to do my due date oil. Um, you can actually apply this over top of our SPF. This has moisturizer, SPF, and primer. Okay, so these are just the products I like to use. And I do like a little bit of oil um, applied to my skin because I do have a drier skin. And it really helps the products blend into the skin a lot nicer, okay? So I'm just gonna show you. Um, first, I use this by pressing with like the top, the tip part of the sponge. And I like to do that very, very light um, highlighter shade also in here where I get personally fine lines and wrinkles. Um, you know, this will just brighten and take away from the appearance of um, the wrinkles. So right now it looks really super light, don't worry. That's why we have two concealers because one is more flesh tone and it will um, cover the areas that you might have like a blemish. I would use it, you know, my flesh tone shade there. Um, or on days that I don't really want to wear foundation at all, I might just wear, um, I might just wear a little bit of my flesh tone concealer so that I have this like waterproof, super quick and easy, naturally blends into my skin color. Mine is um, concealer number two. And you'll notice this covered the blemish right up. And so on, on those summer days or just days that you don't have time to do a full face, that is enough. That's why you want two separate ones when you're not worried about every, you know, little thing being flawless and perfected in the skin. Um, as far as like darkness and going that extra mile and having it look really amazing in photos, yada, yada. So here we go. I'm just going over those other areas so it's not so um, like light and <laughs> highlighted. And then I'm rolling the sides of this and I'm getting really low on my foundation. As you can see, I need to replace this. Um, but I actually kind of just like press this into the skin. So you're not like smearing it. You really don't need that much because a little bit of this goes such a long way. You know, this is a 50% pigment. <laughs> so a real little bit is gonna give you all the coverage that you need, okay? Love, love, love. Um, the application, like the tool, is gonna make a huge difference of the overall impact of this product. And so, you know, for example, if you use a brush that is, you know, like a traditional foundation brush like this, 
actually just, um, I use this for applying masks to my skin so that I'm not contaminating it with my fingers. So this is what I use this brush for. Um, you can do some stippling techniques like I did with the Blenderful sponge when using a brush like this, but it's actually gonna apply really heavy. I think this type of brush works a lot better with a thinner liquid foundation to get buildable coverage. But you don't need that for ours because it already has so much pigment, so that's kind of the good news. But this little guy you can wash and reuse up to three months, and you know, it's just easy. I can, I can even take this and um, you know, dip it into a little bit of my press powder on the bottom if you like a translucent powder to set or if you want a color powder to set. Um, or even for me, I like to take the other side I haven't used yet um, and I just dip it right in on the side here. And I create a little contour in my skin. So I can go and blend. There we go. Okay. Okay, fabulous. So I hope this little demo um, helped you see how I apply a flawless face using the complexion palette.